As researchers continue to hunt for exoplanets, they discover many exciting and sometimes frightening worlds that never cease to amaze us. We offer to make a flight to the most incredible planets ever found. And we will begin our journey from the planet Poltergeist or PSR by 1257 Psi. The exoplanet is located about 2300 light years away from us, in the constellation Virgo. This is the first planet of the three orbiting the pulsar. Yes, it is the pulsar, and not the stars, like the sun, which is something incredible and to see this is undoubtedly a great success. Of course, there was once a pulsar star 25 times the size of our Sunday. But one day it outlived itself and collapsed. So its core turned into a neutron star. One of the densest objects in the universe. The matter in it is so dense that one of its matchboxes weighs 3 billion tons. The magnetic field of these monsters is a thousand times stronger than the Earth's. They turn at a speed of up to several hundred times per second. Neutron stars emit electromagnetic rays, thereby bringing down an incredible amount of radiation. How at the same time the planet did not descend from orbit and did not become wandering? Big question. It is removed from the parent star at a distance of only 0.36 astronomical units. The circulation period is about 66 days. The pulsar planet is four times more massive than Earth. Of course, the world on such a planet is quite extreme because the magnetic field of a neutron star is a source of high-frequency radiation and accelerates elementary particles. This means that the strongest rain of ions falls on the planet all the time, which will have a bad effect on your skin. In such conditions, no biological species can survive, but pulsar, quite. The second planet worth considering is the hottest at the moment. It is located in the constellation Cygnus at a distance of about 620 light years from us. The exoplanet orbits a main sequence star of spectral class A, Kelt 9. Of course, how much the planet heats up depends primarily on how close it is to its parent star. For example, in our solar system Mercury is the planet closest to the Sun the temperature on its daytime side reaches about 430 degrees Celsius, while the Sun itself has a surface temperature of 5,500 degrees Celsius. But stars more massive than the Sun burn harder. The star Kel9 is two and a half times more massive than the Sun, and the temperature on its surface is almost 10,000 degrees Celsius. The planet of the star Kel9 by is located much closer to it than Mercury is to the Sun. The planet orbits its sun every day and a half. For reference, Mercury's orbit takes 88 days. As a result, the temperature on the planet is 4,300 degrees Celsius, hotter than many stars entering the size of the sun. The rocky planet Mercury at this temperature will be a molten drop of lava. But Kel 9 by is a Jupiter-type gas giant. Under the influence of such temperatures, molecules in the atmosphere of the planet disintegrate into their constituent atoms and burn together with its inhabitants. If you feel hot, then it's time to cool off a little. And the coldest world will help us in this. Planet Angle 2005 by LG 390 pound. The exoplanet is located in the constellation of Scorpio and was one of the most distant from the Sun of all known planetary systems. It is located almost 25,000 light years from us. The temperature on the planet is minus 223 degrees Celsius. With a mass five and a half times that of Earth, the planet is rocky. And despite the fact that the exoplanet is at a distance from its star about the same as Mars is from the Sun, it is not able to warm the planet because its star is a cold red dwarf with a low mass. In such conditions, the planet cannot support the atmosphere, which means that most of the gases have been frozen. There is a force in the form of precipitation, like snow on the surface of the planet. Yes, it's a cold world with no prospects for the future. 
and we continue our journey and are approaching another amazing planet. The huge planet is located only 67 light years from Earth. The parent star of this giant planet is a brown dwarf. The circulation period is 246 days. The giant has the name Danny Spy GE082303. Its mass is 29 times that of Jupiter, making it the most massive planet ever discovered. It is so huge that the question still hangs whether it can be called a planet or classify an object as a star. Yes, the size of this planet is undoubtedly amazing. What about the smallest planet? Yes, and there is one. The planet is located in the constellation Lyra at a distance of about 210 light years from us. Shorty has the name Kepler 37 by. This is an exoplanet slightly larger than the Moon and slightly smaller than Mercury. The diameter of the planet Kepler 37 by is about 3,900 kilometers. The planet is located very close to its star 0.1 astronomical unit making one revolution around the mother star and planet in 13 days. The average surface temperature is 420 degrees Celsius. The surface of the planet presumably consists of stone materials. The planet has no atmosphere, so normal life cannot exist there. Meanwhile, we are approaching the planet Staryx, which is estimated to be 10 billion years old. The object orbits one of the oldest stars in the Milky Way and is located 280 light years from Earth. The planet is one and a half times larger than Earth, three times more massive than it and orbits the star that is 561 with an orbital period of 10 hours. According to average estimates, the surface temperature is 2400 degrees Celsius. At the same time, it is always turned to the local sun with one side. This discovery indicates that rocky planets can exist for a very long time, remaining stable. The density of the planet is comparable to the Earth, which indicates that it consists of light elements and is consistent with its age. Heavy elements are formed in the bowels of stars and are ejected into space with their death, including during supernova outbreaks. Therefore, the oldest stars have low metallicity, that is, they contain few elements heavier than hydrogen. Similarly, any ancient planets also cannot contain many heavy elements. And to finish our marathon is a planet with the most terrible weather imaginable. Meet the exoplanet HD 189733 by is located in the constellation of Chanterelle, known as Hot Jupiter. The planet is located 63 light years away from us. The distance from the planet to the star around which it rotates is 10 times less than the distance between the Sun and the planet closest to it, Mercury. It turned out that the weather conditions on it are extremely inhospitable. The temperature reaches 3000 degrees Celsius and the wind speed is 2 kilometers per second. The extremely high temperature in the planet's atmosphere causes the giant to lose up to one ton of weight every second. This is the most extreme diet. No one has ever lost weight so quickly. It was also found that Kremlin particles rise into the atmosphere during storms, turning into molten glass due to high temperature. Clouds of molten silicates and iron droplets were also found here, that is, iron storms are not uncommon on the planet. It will be extremely difficult to survive there, even if you take a lock with you. Yes, it was a curious journey. Amazing. The night sky and those luminous dots that dot it have since ancient times attracted the attention of a person and fascinated him. Even in the most ancient times, people try to understand what is behind this stunning beauty. But looking deep into space, we saw that this beauty can be very frightening. 